So this is kind of a big deal that came out of Hasbro, which I kind of suspected for quite a while. Everyone's probably heard by now that Hasbro is going to be licensing out the Power Rangers brand to Playmates. What does this mean? Basically, Hasbro doesn't want to produce the toys anymore for Power Rangers, and they you know, simply license it out to Playmates. There, they're going to be the primary you know, toy manufacturer for Power Rangers moving forward, starting in 2025. When Cosmic Fury had come out, the toy line for it was lackluster. It basically had nothing in it except for the Cosmic Fury Megazord, uh, the Morpher, which looked abysmal, and a few other things here and there for Cosmic Fury. The Lightning Collection line got discontinued and had no information on it until further notice. And I said, that's another weird thing. But the reason why companies would do it is they have to end various contracts, which started making me think, hmm, is Hasbro going to license out Power Rangers? And a couple of months ago, I actually even said it would be funny that Hasbro would license out the Power Rangers line back to Bandai for them to produce uh, the American toys again. Now, why is this going on in the first place? Hasbro wants to focus solely on making entertainment and not really toys anymore. Toys have been hurting them over the years anyway from failures of properties like Star Wars. They haven't been doing great for many years now, so the toys haven't been selling. Several screw-ups on their end when they made the Dungeon and Dragon movie. No one really cared about it, so that flopped. Power Rangers has been a hit and miss as a TV show. It's gone up and down, up and down. And when Hasbro was producing the Power Ranger toys, and I remember even in my very early uh, video discussing, oh, Hasbro is buying Power Rangers, and my hope was, oh, they'll start making uh, the toys much better than Bandai America has been doing in, for several years now. And that was a complete bump kiss, and that never happened. Yeah, the Lightning line and the Hasbro Pulse line exist, and we did get some quality good stuff out there. I'm not denying that. But there's a ton of quality issues on various figures, either missing uh, limbs, broken limbs, wrong limbs, sculpts didn't look great as it was, and toys being more and more expensive, but getting less and less either paint applications, electronics, the molding is becoming cheaper because they're using cheaper plastics and recycled plastics. So you have all these issues and problems Hasbro even admitted the main reason they're doing this is because PR hasn't hit the money projections they hoped. There's a lot of factors to why. Focusing so much on MMPR, good for sales short term, but it makes people wait for something else. They stop looking at the franchise, and when they do release something else, they don't even know. The poor quality control. A friend of mine bought two MMPR helmets, and they were all scratched in the box. He returned them and never bought anything from them again. The windowless packaging. They said it was for the environment, but many people accused them of using this to cover up QA issues, so people get home with a bad product, and this has a higher chance of people not wanting to bother returning it, versus walking past a figure with the wrong leg or missed head. Makes sense not bothering anymore if another company can do it better. And they've already been doing this beforehand. There's many companies out there that have been making, you know, those super highly detailed Power Ranger figures that are made out of cloth. So it makes perfect sense for Hasbro to license out the product for those companies to take the gamble and risk on what they want to make. And Hasbro just simply, you know, picks up a paycheck. And that's also another reason why they sold their E1. They do want to stay in entertainment and other stuff like video games, but they had to sell E1 Entertainment which is why Cosmic Fury was 10 episodes. It didn't really make any sense why every which way from Netflix was telling them, oh, you can make 20 episodes. And even the script for Cosmic Fury, those episodes, you can feel it was intended to be like a standard 20 episode season, but it was shrunk down to 10 because they had to go sell off E1. They had to end everything that was tied to it in order to sell it off. I'm not surprised that it's Playmates because again, it's still an American company. But now what does that mean to the brand itself? And what to expect from us fans who want to collect stuff from the series. Whether that'll be a good thing or a bad thing, only time will tell. Now, I know Playmates, from a basic standpoint, they can make good figures for a decent price, so that may fix 
the that aspect of the toy now what does that mean for hasbro will they be producing anything anymore they do say in the article that they still will focus on the hasbro pulse so basically hasbro will still be making toys for power rangers but only for the high-end stuff that will be sold specifically in their store line the pulse line where like oh we got like an exclusive tommy figure things like that i think overall this is a good decision like many fans out there we've been tired of the poor quality of the toys for many years now and also the odd releases of stuff recently hasbro made the alien ranger pack that contained all five alien rangers and i was saying as a fan of the series why did you pick making the alien rangers as this expensive pack when the alien rangers they're the worst team out of everyone because people only care about two characters delphine and corcus because they're the only ones who got really any focus on it so it made no sense to pick the alien rangers when the other three are like who cares yeah they're great characters as the kaka rangers but why they made decisions like that and don't get me wrong i like the blue centurion and i was happy to get the blue centurion figure but he's not really a popular character, so I'm doubting that that type of figure sold well. Now, am I worried? Yes and no. I mean, I don't really know what to expect from Playmate. And I know a lot of people are going to be complaining, oh my god, they're going to be doing MMPR again. We have had MMPR upon endless MMPR. You know, I'm right with everyone. I'm sick and tired of it. But ultimately, it's the best selling of all the seasons. Everyone knows it. Playmates has to start somewhere that they know they'll make money with. Whether they'll make new stuff that we haven't gotten, aka like, I don't know, Blade Blaster with the Thunder Slinger, for example. Will Playmates make any potential high quality toy line like, like the lightning figures has done in the past maybe maybe not maybe that'll be relegated to hasbro pulse we've gone too much with horrific toy releases uh for many years in a row and i, I can't believe you're saying that when we had bandai america make those slippers for operation overdrive zords for example we're at the point where hasbro has been making stuff worse than that hopefully it works out and hopefully we benefit because ultimately what matters is that they make good stuff they make stuff that hasn't been released before. Yeah, I'm tired of the whole inundation of MMPR every freaking month and year. Every time someone buys Power Rangers, we have to always reset to MMPR over and over again. How many times are we going to have, you know, Jason be released or Tommy be released? And how many gimmicks and weird issues where it's like, oh, we have to have one version that doesn't remove the shield, but then in the next version, we have the shield removable. So you have to buy the figure two or three times. Hopefully that stops <laughs> and they make a product good on the first go and hopefully they still make collector's item that they can also finish off things that they haven't completed. For example, you know, the power bow and the power axe to finish the power blaster off. Hopefully it's something positive and I don't have to eat crow again like I did when I thought Hasbro was going to save the day from Bandai.